I'm always right by the musical cue every time. I can't not wait for it. Or at least the one that's in my mind. I think I might have missed it that time. Oh well. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2, everybody. So, went with a full board wipe this time around. Decided I wanted to see what might be uh, on the table with new positive quirk options for this squad. Not a ton. Scrolling quickly through here, you can see that even the good quirks that we see are sort of balanced out by some bad ones, aka ascetic with the yips. So, went ahead and hit the random button a bunch of times, and it happened upon this named squad, the Outcasts, which seemed pretty fun to me. So, give it a shot. Why not? Sounds like fun. You came here seeking solace, but found stagnation instead. Them 808s at the beginning of Danny Phantom slap too hard, and we are also deep into a conversation about no cartoon One theme songs. With open arms. Just to invite the YouTube VOD folks the of into that in a delayed way, way, but you can still participate. Your opinion's still valid. Much like mine was when I found that my favorites were all omitted from the initial poll. Including, I can't believe this wasn't even mentioned up to this point. One fine day with a wolf and a pearl, baby was born in a castle store. It was no but no three eye for I was a feet like canine little cat dog. Cat dog! Cat dog! Come on! Come on! A renewal. All timer! Gotta show some love for Cat Dog, dude. Waffle Chrome, thank you for the 44 months. Welcome on back into the pile. Appreciate you. Atheists can't be sinners. A strong opinion held within the Twitch username. I appreciate it. Welcome on back to you as well. Give him some bear hugs, please. Ten pound towel. Thank you for the gift sub too. There's others. Hope to finish this Ed, Ed, quickly. and Eddie. Can talk about beauty and brevity, huh? That song has three words. Four. Sorry, three words in an article. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Bam, bam. I think I'm remembering that right. I might be mixing that with something else. I think noble. that's right. And necessary. I mean, those are drilled into my mind, dude. You're 100% right? Yeah, I thought so. Later on, after I initially doubted myself. Dexter's Laboratory! The smartest boy. <laughs> You've ever seen there are yet places such as this where a little light still gathers. But DD blows his experiments to smithereens. The shrouded coast, isolated and drowning in amphibious degeneracy. Last call for the pick me if you'd like to be chosen. Bounty hunter, stagecoach, pet name. Precious relics remind us of a time before the and end. doom and gloom when things go boom. And I'm just going to leave you hanging. I know. It's, ru it's rude. It's cruel. But I am going to do it. What to bring today, huh? What do the outcasts roll with? What's the outcast of the pets? What would you say, Chad? I feel like the obvious answer is the Shambler spawn, but I don't know. He's also kind of one of the more adorable ones out there. Who do we look at here and we're like, oh, it's, I know who it is, dude. It's the fucking carrion eater, isn't it? The outcast of the pets. This has got to be, right? I, the, as soon as I thought Anything of it. Anything that lets us travel further is worth the cost. He's got to come. Pinky and the goddamn brain. No word of a lie. Yeah. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. The pinky and the brain. There's some excellent choices, man. That bracket, when we eventually do it, that's going to be a tough set of matchups. Guaranteed. 
Manly Maiden. Pretty fantastic name for our stagecoach there. Welcome on into the crew. J Rodham is going to join us today as our larval carrion eater. You may be an outcast, J Rod, but you're our outcast, damn it. Get a little more food here. I think I can probably go without slime mold, actually. Get the stew pot, too, so I don't have to spend too much more on that, ideally. And negative quirks. Coward light sensitive misses the mark. Yeah, we're going to try to get rid of some of those. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Let's snag this, too. Not a bad idea. Cartoon theme songs, part three. Cat Dogs, SpongeBob, Chippendale Rescue Ranger. Ooh. I think I'd have to hear a refresher on that. Oh, my goodness. And then Powerpuff Girls, which also quite good. And Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize that was even in contention. Yeah, that's going to be tough to beat, dude. The hunter waits. Brooding beneath his cowl. Oh, she got Darkwing Duck in the first set. This is what I'm saying, man. We gotta have a bracket so people can realize when their favorites got knocked out. This is good for information gathering early on. This is gonna help me out as far as setting it up, but Yeah, we're gonna need to uh we're gonna need to go the whole nine yards there. I think I'll probably sit the grave robber this time. He has no past, no future, no mercy. That's a good wainer, dude. I like to pull forward on him as well. Obviously, finish him. Going to work out there. And then let's go with the uh, no escape and hurl bat. Give the leper a little more HP. Let's get him fed here. And let's see if we can get rid of some of these negative quirks right away. That's really good. Scatterbrain, not too bad. I think I might even just hold on to this so I can use it on the... Uh, on the grave robber as soon as she gets back into the squad. Hey, Arnold, dude, yet another exercise this in brevity. Well. That's got even less words than the Ed and Eddie theme. Experience, however painful, is the greatest teacher of all. Let's see here. I guess revelry upgrades probably worth considering. Oh, toe to toe, right? Yeah. Gotta make sure she can clear that winded. And withstand would be pretty good, too. Let's do that, yeah. That's a safe play. Oh, Samurai Jack, Kim Possible. Dude, there, there, there's so many. We might have to do, like, a 64-entry bracket. <laughs> Jesus. That's going to be a trip. And I want to I wanna give more love to some others, but I think one of the biggest th the determining factors for me of whether or not it's an all-timer is whether I can even remember it. Because I saw a lot of cartoons, dude. I consider myself something of an authority on this. Propriety floats listless on the tide, brined in noxious degradation. If there's anything I can put on my resume, it was avid Saturday morning cartoon watcher. Okay, we could hit up this oasis early on here. Creature Den. A little bit later. Not accessible if we go to the oasis, though. Man, that is... That is rough. We are in the shroud. Oh, I forgot to draw our bounty on our name again. Dude, I'm so invested in this conversation. Yoiki? Is that how I say that? Congrats, buddy. You'll be our bounty hunter today. See if we're gonna hunt something down with you here. I'm thinking about it, man. This is the oasis into a hoarder, which we're not gonna have a lot of relics for. Watchtower for a little bonus speed. We should have some some sort of help by the time we get there. If I am gonna go this way, I should absolutely. Well, first of all, I should take on this Chirurgeon fight. We're going to be passing up the region goal mastery point, not to mention, obviously, the potential mastery points in the creature den, too, so. Yeah. We're going to need to take on some gambits here. Used to wake up at 5 a.m. before school every day to watch the original Pokemon runs. Good times. Absolutely. I remember back in the day, uh, as a kid, when, when did the first... Pokemon uh, 
I'm just gonna call it a cartoon. I know it's maybe technically like an anime, but when did the Pokemon cartoon first start airing in America? That was like 2001, right? I wanna say, so I was like 10 or 11. And I remember uh, my parents very kindly purchased the DVD for me. Was that 90s? When did DVDs become a thing? I'm beginning to cross that in my mind of like, was it a DVD? I think so. A slow dissection. Pretty sure it wasn't a friggin' VHS. I don't think it was that long ago, but... Anyway. I remember them getting that for me. And thinking to myself, Oh man, I'm so excited. This is, got, this is the entire show. They got me the whole show on DVD slash VHS, whatever it was, I can't remember. And then I pop it in and I blaze through the first three episodes. And then it just pops back to the menu. Meaning it must have been a DVD. And I was so disappointed. So I was like, wait, no. The first three. There's like 40 more, aren't there? There were like 10 when I was a kid. I was so sad. And that's my story of heartbreak as a child. Thinking I was gonna be able to sit down that day and watch the entirety of the Pokemon cartoon. Incremental, but deadly all the same. The original air date for Pokemon was April 1997. Man, that's weird. But as we all know, time pre-COVID has become just this continuous flux of nonsense. So I suppose I can't really be blamed too much. I might just try to let that burn her down and bleed her out. Let's go with another one here. I have 35 theme songs so far. We're gonna have to get a bunch more for a bracket. We could probably whittle that down to 32, right? Instead of expanding it to 64, because I was mostly joking about that. If we try to do a, a bracket of 64 theme songs, that's gonna be like a four hour plus stream, which isn't the worst, but is long. All right. Nice disease resist, pal. I kind of forget I was doing a mini boss here. I've sort of been skirting my way through. I need a heal real quick up front. Wow, flame speed, nice. First round of 64 could be one stream. Could, like cut it in half too. Yeah, that's true. Do the first 64, take a break, and then... Well, that's the other thing we could do is not necessarily, like... Oh, my God, nice. Of trust. We could not necessarily, like, uh, listen to each theme song anymore. Uh, in the, like, second through fifth rounds. This is going to be, like, fully demonetized on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> like, guaranteed. May even give me a Twitch strike. That might be something worth considering too. I might want to be more careful there. I think we'll have to like, what we'll probably have to do is like pull it up and listen to like five second clips of each song. I think that's about as much as I'm allowed to get away with. Oh goodness. Inexorable. Yeah, that's why we have you. There remains a foothold out of this mire. Now climb. Don't have to collect bounty here, unfortunately, but we can do this. Yeah, days might help a little bit. Combo's at least pretty good. Another heal. A calculated generosity. Okay, okay. A one, nonetheless. Let's see here. Maybe we should go for this guy instead, yeah. Have Bear sing each song. There we go. That's a way around it, certainly. Oh, we've already used both solemnities? Jeez. Y'all sleeping on Proud Family. 
She's got a point. Although, though, though, again, there's some very strong contenders here, Pawn. Didn't even really consider Gravity Falls. That is a pretty good one. And Invader Zim, too. Oh, my goodness. Sad to see that with only one vote as well. Although, now that I think about it, can I remember that theme? I thought I did. I was this certain I did. No time to falter. Oh, that's just the... Oh, it's instrumental, right? Yeah. That explains it. <laughs> Gravity Falls just stole Ed, Ed and Eddie's whistle stick, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, boy, that was lucky. I got away with one here, man. I was not very careful in this fight. This is a bit of a wake-up call. Got the mastery there, at least. Hey, the single leech is pretty nice, too. Spiked skull cap. Physician's Guild Seal. Deliver to the end to gain round start 5% regen chance for the entire party. Got a mastery point out of it. And additional healing given. Cool. Well, that was totally worth it. But the Chirurgeon cure your disease and negative quirks. We were coming out of here without any disease. I actually got rid of the negative quirk on her earlier. The spike skull cap alone is pretty nice here. I love the deliverables, man. It's such a fun mechanic as well. Oh, and that Animaniacs. Yeah, we also haven't even talked about that. A sanctum of tranquility awaits. I'm going to go ahead and swap Ruin for Reflection for now. Might not even swap that back until we've got Ruin upgraded, which might take a little while. All right, let's see. Make sure we're healing early here. Because these guys... Probably gonna hit pretty hard, not to mention likely meltdown. Yeah. Pretty rough start so far, unfortunately. I think we'll go for the adrenaline rush up front. We follow that up the rockets. I'm thinking we try to stun. Uh, we're not gonna be able to do that, are we? Yeah. Uh, we'll just finish him here. I think so. Try to get through this guy. He's in pretty good shape anyway, so not too bad. Get him fixed. Yep. Steady yourself. <laughs> Some serious role playing going on, Dead. I mean, I would mostly put you in the damage camp for our squad, but yeah, I mean, you are the healer when it comes down to it. And you know, the revelry here. That blind, too. I think we just withstand. Did upgrade that, so might as well use it. Boy. Heal again? Yep. Ah, oh, the bleeds though, yikes. Does he have, does he have the toy? No, okay, right, yeah, no, we reset everything. I don't know why I thought I had extra bleed applied, but his, oh, we didn't upgrade weird. That's why, okay, okay. I thought I had for some reason. I think it's probably time to do this too. Oh, we got DuckTales in the very first pull count. Yeah, no, there was a lot of DuckTales love immediately. Let's just go for this. And if I'm going to have to do it, I might as well do it with the guy who's got HP to spare right now. God damn, we're just going to have to heal this entire time, man. This is rough. That'll do it. Okay. Might be back. Likely to adrenaline rush here as well. Let's keep going on this barrier. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Okay. The toe-to-toe -to -toe might even be enough to take this out. So we're definitely ready to get some taunt up here. Ah, bear optimal on the barrier. No hue available. Eh, you know what, Intimidate? All oh, right, yeah, he's not in the front rank, so we'll just do this. 
Yeah. Good enough. Just got everybody bleeding. That's fine. Totally normal. All right. There we go. I was really hoping that might be the case this time around. Should get at least one. That's him taken care of. Nice. Ooh, baby. Even with the weekend. Getting it done. And a little more time. All right, one more heal. Very good. Just ignore all that bleed. We're in great shape now. But you're going to be able to in a second. Cool. He's alive. Greater threats await those who dare. Ooh. Fisherman's net I'm beginning to hold in much higher esteem given its ability to make the uh, the one trinket uh, whose name I've forgotten much, much better, especially on somebody like the Occultist, who loves that combo. So we'll hold on to those for a little while. A refreshing commune. Fisherman's line, that's the one. The mind. That's the ticket. Snag some spring water. Go ahead and equip those thunderclaps. Actually, I think we'll hold on to those for later. We'll keep those equipped just An in case. Problem. Is it not? All right, and I might actually be able to preserve my wheels and my shields here. Nice. I always love to be able to do that. I need to pay a little bit more attention to Torchlight, too, actually. I've been kind of neglecting that lately. Up you go. Uppies! That would be a nice big chop, or it was gonna be crap. I guess you can do that full move back. Well... That's as good of a move as any there, I guess. Now let's just go ahead and finish her off. That'll do it. Not a problem. Get a little bleed right back at you, buddy. And let's see here. I like reflection, actually. Let's keep him in fantastic shape and then let her finish the job here, I guess. Or do we just bleed again? That seems right. Take out the Zombo. Very good. And then it's all you, buddy. Ain't nothing left but the big dead giant. Uh, let's go with this. That's ideal. So is that. Chef's kiss, squad. Well played. I'm even getting greedy. Stress healed. Goodbye. We fighting Levy this region? I'm thinking about it. Giving it some serious consideration. We have found some pretty good stuff. Gone. Let it die. And we're intentionally going on a route that should allow for us to not only ideally preserve the shields and the wheels, but also likely is going to give us some extra loot to help us in that fight. And in fact, already has. That's not great. Thankfully, we can avoid the negative relationship hit. So we absolutely do want to take these on. This team is ready to go. Okay. Newfound respect for a squad like this, too. I need to recognize these guys are capable of dealing a lot more damage than I think. And we're gonna act accordingly. Them shuffling me around also might be an issue, so... Let's try to get ourselves a numbers advantage early on, just like that. The enemy weakens and wanes. Not ordained, certainly gonna be a little less intimidating. Stunning my occultist is a bit of an issue, though. 
This is probably enough for him. Okay. That's fine. Am I going to come hither? Yeah, I think we come hither into the leopard chop here for this guy. Because he's on the two turn. This guy's got the combo already, so we should be able to make something of that. Let's go ahead and bring you up. And chop him up. Yeah, go ahead. Probably do a demon's pull here anyway. Hey I'm loving all of the discourse, by the way. Not, not weighing in on every one, but the variety in childhood experiences is pretty fantastic. Oh my god, I nearly just left the nautical compass. No, 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 no. Don't do that. I like that one. Give it to him. Okay. Got magic school bus, dude. What a show. What a program. I bet you I could pop on an episode of the Magic School Bus. Anyone. Still be entertained. To this day. Love that hard skin. Stun him up. Good stuff. He's got a block token. Let's do an abyssal. Totally worth. On the shield there, too nice. Got it right back. Incremental, but deadly all the same. That's looking like a withstand situation. If these guys all decide to attack in the same round, it's going to be bad news for us. Just like this. Let's see here. Get through another dodge. That'll work. Oh, another beautiful abyssal situation. Beautiful. That's a double kill, baby. No sweat. And probably got enough here. Man. This team is absolutely making me feel like they are Leviathan ready. They have been crushing it so far. Not going to be able to get a heal here, so... Might as well see if we can get a stress heal off the kill. A petty hindrance. No dice, that's all right. Sweet reprieve. Until the next test is put before you. Y'all remember that episode of the Magic School Bus where they learned about fish and the kids got fish nutted on? Man, that was a wild show. They prostrated themselves before the primogenial power of the obelisks. We, we watching the same show? Rewarded for their supplication. I don't remember that episode. Oh my goodness, it is actually going to let me keep the shields. Well, all right. I keep saying I'm going to do it. I've never played Halo. Is it worth buying the bundle on Steam for PC? You're asking the wrong person. This is coming with the ultimate bias. I was a Halo boy. I was a big time Halo boy. Still am, honestly. But that's gonna be a resounding yes from me. Malays, measured and steady. If I'm keeping it a buck fifty with you, I still play some Halo 3 every now and then. Halo 3 multiplayer. Master Chief Collection. You pop on there. On a weekday evening. Good chance you're gonna see Mr. Bear Taffy. Dominating the leaderboards, by the way. I'll have you know. A little big team battle. Catch him up there with 25, 30 kills a game. Better freaking believe it, dude. Uh, yeah, sure. 
Can you get the true Halo experience these days without physically bringing a CRT TV and Xbox to a sleepover so you can split screen some four player blood gulch? This guy Halos. I uh, still do that every now and then. <laughs> Not having to bring the CRTs with us, thank goodness. I've got a buddy, Devil Star, actually, who shows up in the chat every now and then, uh, who still uh, will occasionally host Halo Nights, where they got the old school modded Xboxes running uh, the Halo 1. And those guys are even better than me, so I get my butt kicked in that group, but it's still a good time. I had so many great memories of Halo Lands back in the day, dude, because I was absolutely doing exactly what you said. We would, well, it was, I was in the generational, like one or two removed from that. I wasn't doing a lot of the Halo 1 lands with like the CRTs, but I was I was a Halo 2 slash Halo 3 MLG kid with the Astro A40s, the gunner glasses, which are still probably somewhere in my closet. I had the ViewSonic 24 incher. Facing oblivion. These folk have kept their honor. With minimal input lag. You? As recommended by the MLG forums. Which 90% of the kids that played in those lands had. Along with all the other equipment. Fucking daisy chaining Astros in the rich kids basement. This will not be easy. Oh, those are the days, dude. Come on up then. It's been a lot of fun up here in the front. You should try it. Uh, I think the mouse and keyboard is pretty good in MCC getting, yeah, I haven't done too much of it, but from what I remember, it's well executed. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. God dang old watchdogs. Haste and carelessness. Messing up my flow. Of the unprepared. There we go. And they're getting abyssal with that crit token. I'm taking a chance on that, no doubt. In fact, let's go ahead and make sure we can get through one at least. Oh boy, that even feels like a waste at this point, but I'm going to go for it. Yeah, a bit of a waste. That's all right. Halo 2 came out in my freshman year in college. For a month from release day, I could plug into my dorm land and find a full multiplayer game in minutes. It was just the dorm, no Xbox Live. Oh, that's fantastic. I would have been in heaven, dude. Booting up the custom game lobbies. Waiting for members of your friends list to just funnel in until you had enough for 4v4 customs. That was my life for a little while, dude. And even well, before that, too, I've mentioned this several times. I, uh, I helped to run a... I helped to run a website for a little while, like a couple of years, when I was 15 and 16, uh, called uh, clanhalo.net, I believe is what it was. Mac.clanhalo.net, which is still on the Wayback Machine if you search in that. You can go to mac.clanhalo.net and back in like 20... When was this? Like 2000s? It wasn't even 20, it was like 2007, 2008, I think. Maybe a little earlier than that. My old Clan Halo days. Specifically for... Change. An inglorious heap not timbers. for people playing Halo 1. People playing Halo 1's demo on Apple computers. That was what the community was. And there were thousands of them. <laughs> like... And hundreds of active users and like 10 to 20 ish active teams per season submitting like matches like they were doing what were effectively ranked games against each other tracked by our website. 
And it, yeah, it always blows my mind that there was such a large community for just, the, it was like the niche of the niche, much like I am these days. Like, it's just so cool that such passionate groups can exist in such limited capacities. I had great friends from back in those days that I met through the Mac Halo demo. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. What a bunch of nerds. Absolutely. They were my nerds and I loved them. We managed to get the Halo 1 demo on our school provided Mac laptops in high school. For some reason, there was a thriving mod community for the Halo 1 demo. There was! There absolutely was, dude. It was wild. We had a couple of modded maps that we uh, fooled around with for ranked play for a couple of or for a couple of seasons, which was like effectively a couple of months. Yeah, it was awesome. We had a couple of really good modders just like in our community. Do not relent. Alrighty. This one might be an abyssal situation, yeah. Let's let him take care of him on his own. Make sure we get our taunts up early here, especially to take advantage of her block. And then eh, I wouldn't mind doing a stun. Maybe a flashbang on this guy, though. Yeah, I like that. Although that does mean the Abyssal is no longer an option, I guess. But we can have them take her out or take him out up front, too. Though I think I want to withstand here. Yeah, that seems best three blocks so let's use it that's ideal get the little bit of bleed on him there too okay now try to finish one off at least let's get a little more taunt up there as well uh that could be a heal yet ah oh, that's bad though yeah we really need to upgrade weird reconstruction pretty clearly a big priority No, not Marathon, I think. That was a little ways... Or, when did Marathon come out? I thought that was, like, late 90s. Something like that. Yeah, not quite that long ago. There we go. Finally landed the stun on the big boy. Thinking we're probably going to try to get to Adrenaline Rush territory here. Might even already be there. Not quite. Um, let's not taunt on her here. Let's make sure this boy's as close to dead as we can get. And then Adrenaline Rush obviously has a little bit more value there, too. Uh, Bounty Hunter's probably going to get him. Lethality writ large. Very nice. A little stress heal there, too. Okay, let's go ahead and finish him. Oh, finish him might have actually gotten a the kill there, I just realized. Uh, let's go for... The adrenaline rush here. I want to let the blind of the weak and do the job. Pretty good shape there. We can get rid of the last stress point on him. Kind of want to heal a little bit more. Yeah, we're going to need to. So I can give her a heal from him, and then she should also be able to heal from the melee skill. That will kill him. Well, that worked out pretty well. Cool. All right. We're in as good a shape as we're going to get, I think. And then the double bleed dealt is not bad at all for us. Oh, especially with the empty stein. Wow, that's cool. And the sodden sweater. Oh, my God. Yeah. With a big pig. This is incredible loot. They must be made to see that their monstrous god is mortal. Let's do it. All right, we're going to need to uh, withstand early. I think he has additional move resist, right? Yeah, not the Tempest, so... Still get to do this anyway before we get the combos applied. Hmm. Yeah, try to get some bleed going, I think. The Phaethon does look so cool. I agree. 6 to 10, 6 to 10, slightly higher crit chance. Let's do it. 
little bits at a time here. I might try... Oh, yeah, that's right. We have the chalk dust here. This is perfect. Clear the blind. Haha, -ha, you can't get stealth anymore. Also, you're missing a hand. go. Then I want to consider a mark soon as well. Definitely need more bleed there. Looking good. Okay. I suppose I can intimidate. That's pretty good, especially if it lands. This is possibly a week in here. Yeah, that worked out really well. Okay. He's going to have another burning stars. Ooh, and he got a crit too. That's outstanding. Let's go ahead and reduce his stress. A calculated generosity. Crit bleed. Outstanding. Okay. Lined up front, unfortunately, so I think it is. Oh, he doesn't have mark equipped. Oh, that's not good. I didn't realize that. That's probably worth a try. I just don't really want to reapply a blind here, so I'm thinking maybe we just intimidate again instead. Yeah, I think that's for the best. So yet again, we're gonna use the crit from the occultist here to destroy the hand immediately. Assuming he doesn't get blinded or weakened or something. The Alja Bloom, that eh, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Another bleed back there, nice. Get rid of that. Oh my god, another nautical compass crit is amazing. All right, yeah, cool. Great use of the leech early. Thanks, Kyrurgeon. He just keeps throwing axes, dude. This is working. He's doing the job. Another speed token after that, too. Ten at a time, that's fine with me, dude. Another chaotic offering. Ah, oh, that taunt's unfortunate. Keep bleeding. Missed it that time. Only blinding the leper is certainly good with standing again. He's in great shape here. Ooh, boy. That's not good. I'm gonna drag down the Hellion here. We do still have the means to kill this thing pretty early. Oh, hold on a second. If this crits, it would not quite be enough. Okay, so instead, we're not gonna be able to stun him. Oh, I could apply a combo. I don't know how much good that's gonna do. That could maybe make the if it bleeds more effective. I also should do this. This road cannot be walked alone. This, this for some reason seems right. Steady yourself. They're gonna get the drag down here, but if I land this with potentially well the crit's not really gonna be reliable, but just getting that with the bleed, okay, that's a big difference maker. That's an even bigger difference maker. Ooh, what do I do now? Do I just kill that or do I just... I think I do this. He gets yet another crit. Wow. Oh, I think it's worth a try. Oh, now he can do this. Come on, buddy. Finish him! Yes! That was pretty great. We are the flame, burning brightly for all the world to see. Hey, Brad, welcome. Heck of a loot pile there, man. The loathing abates. And the leper already with incredible trinkets here. Looking for a bone saw now. Oh, man, that's great. Oh, and the fishmonger's gloves. Do we have anything serrated? I don't think so. Oh, the spike cap is. Huh. 
That's an interesting consideration. And then we can do something like that. There's the Hellion Stein. Man, that is really good loot already. Trinkets are kind of popping off right now. All right. Uh, we'll keep that for you since you can clear blinds that way. Dump those. Moving on. Okay. Don't even need stagecoach repairs after this region. We avoided that completely. The loathing whispers. And we might even be without loathing by the end of it. I think this should reduce it by one, so yeah. Man, what a region. Assuming I don't die here, but feeling pretty good about that. In before he dies. Hmm. Thankfully, they can't really do much damage to the back. I think we will probably... Oh, right, yeah. Sodden Sweater is going to be incredible in this fight, too. Jeez. That makes me happy. All right, come on up to the front here, bud. Take care of you first. Maybe get a little stun in the back there, too. Hey, beautiful. Get him withstanding. And I'm really hoping we can get one more point on the Hellion so we can do a couple of revelries here, too. Ah, uh, oh, the damn taunt. God damn taunt. Back to the focused fault mess. I wonder we're trying to kill the altar so quickly here. All right, she's dead to bleed. That's pretty nice. That's going to be the regen on her, which thankfully isn't going to matter too much early. Uh, I guess I could do revelry already. Still probably worth. See you. The block plus just needs probably like a toe to toe or something there. This is looking great. No worries. Toe to toe should do the job. Cool. Then let's see here. Uh, probably you. Gonna let that regen do its thing for a little bit. Agony by accumulation. And I'm thinking it might already be time to start stress healing the leper again. Yeah, it feels right. Oh boy. That's bad news. One of the few things that would get me to want to pop a heal on him real quick is that burn piling up. Could add yet another crit token to himself. Nautical compass value has been pretty outstanding so far. Through the taunt here, and then I'll probably toe to toe again anyway. I'm gonna have to clear these corpses for an if it bleeds as well. Oh, we can withstand again, can't we? No, not quite. I guess it's not really going to matter there anyway. Okay, did not get the Burning Stars. We can try this, even though that's ah, pretty unlikely. Let's do it. Nice. Worth it. Stress heal. Hell yeah. Taunt hit there, meaning we might be able to Adrenaline Rush as well. Good stuff. When getting hit and bled is a good thing. Good old dungeon, baby. Lethality the crit for 15 and healing three stress. God damn. Nice. They really like that one, huh? Burning Star should have execution, too. Come on, man. There's just some skills that deserve it. That's definitely one of them. Sweet reprieve. Until the next test is put before you. Stun resist, dark impulse. Oh, howling end. Yeah, that's another one for sure. The loathing abates. Great region. Dare I say perfect? Whole bunch of relics and baubles. Or mastery. Not a scratch on us. Pounding on our stress doesn't matter. He's gone. Let's go.
What says overkill more than a meteor spell? Oh, yet exactly. Places such as this. Where a little light still gathers. Right, and the bonus mastery point from Physician's Guild Seal, too. Hell yeah, man. Consider your position and plan accordingly. Huh. That's kind of fun. Yeah, why not? Mud and rain. Resignation and death. Avoid the hospital. This land is truly Ooh, barren. Ooh, triple academic studies. I don't even really want this trinket. The tainted crop continues to spread its tendrils of rot and pestilence. Also got the very best there for the grave robber. Be able to use that later, which is pretty dope. Check our provisioner. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. Sharpness charm, absolutely worth it to me. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Let's see. I think I'll take the song books. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Grab the whiskey bottle. Let's pop this on our grave robber. Got rid of light sensitive. Fantastic. And let's start working on the relationships, I think. Also give her these things. There you go. Probably don't need that anymore. Let's get him fed real fast before I forget. Good stuff. And let's see who needs the work. Hellion Leper. To start off with. Awesome. Even better. Not so good. Alright. I'll take it. I think I'll save the pig. We'll get more value out of that later. And... Probably don't need wild tea. Stimulating poultices are always worth investing in. Oh, I thought there were five of these. Uh, whiskey flasks. I think that might be good for now. Kind of tempted to get the clandestine cape so I can go for that other grave robber trinket as well, but I think I'm a lot more interested in going to this feeder. One learns quickly when survival demands it. Alright, upgrade weird for sure. I want to upgrade the chop here. I think I'm going to go with revelry as well. If it bleeds, I've been using quite a bit. Poison dart. Yeah, that's going to be a good call. And then maybe dead of night now too. More reliable stress healing. I really like that three of the four people on this team can stress heal for themselves. Which is really nice. Bone saw in the shop. I think that we might have to find that at a hospital. I'm not certain. I'm gonna get some glimmers, actually. Speaking of valuing the torchlight a little bit more. Alright. Keep this equipped just in case. I think we're ready. We got the normal squad back together here. It might be the Hoarder too, actually. I think I've... No, I'm pretty sure I've seen a bone saw to Hoarder. So I think maybe either Hospital or Hoarder. But I don't think they show up in the inn. But I also could be wrong about that. The rancid crop grows unchecked and abhorrent. Let's see how long we can keep up this streak of not damaging the stagecoach at all. Maybe there's a safe route through here. Well, to the right immediately. Nice. Get a little more spring water too, and then we can hit this safe route going to the left. We'll try it out. I do like safety. We're already pretty well mastered. Oh, that sucks. Still get the one at least, but that's certainly not what we were looking for. Might as well slap those on her for now. Although the neutralizing powders aren't useless in here, actually. We'll go ahead and equip those there too. And over to the left. Let nothing bar your path. There, you may like safety, but you sure don't play like you do. Yeah, that felt like a lie as soon as I said it. 
I kind of value the opposite. Risk. For potential reward. Ooh, stew. I also like that. Second Chirurgeon could actually give us the bone saw we're looking for. I love safety. I love playing it safe. Here we go. Ooh, we get the regen from our deliberable. That's cool. And to bleed him out. These boys have the enemy weakens and wanes. significantly more HP. And the ordained level. It's going to be a little bit trickier. Probably just with stand right away again. I'm wondering how I'm going to begin things with our grave robber here, given their extreme blight resist. Oh, I can do that. can also glimmer right away. Yeah, hit it. Might as well get rid of the stealth there. Maybe allow for a pull forward. I'm pretty sure he can do his crit move no matter what, but yeah, he's going to do it anyway. Oh, never mind. He's just going to reapply the stealth and add another crit. Interesting. 18 bleed. I just remember we're applying double bleed now. Oh man, that's fun. This dude's dead. That's crazy. Malaise. Measured and steady. Alright, should be able to get a stress heal before the end of this. Oh, they can't do their big hit without stealth. I see, that makes sense. That explains a lot. Okay. Or blight. Oh boy. An invariable result. And another big time bleed here. That's gonna be a near dead boy right there too. Uh, crit might kill him. Oh, I gotta remember I'm getting the benefit from the larval carrion eater here too, which makes abyssal even more tempting in situations like this. Alright, we're definitely going to need a Solemnity here, despite the lack of uh, normal heals. That's eh, a little too much. He is dead. So, let's do that and get the Marvel Carry Eater benefit, right? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Couple of crits. Not going to matter. Oh, wait. Yeah, they are going to matter. They're going to matter a lot. Let's go. Get him started, dude. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Here's our last glimmer. How's the blight chance looking there? Pretty good. All oh, right, he's got the skull cap the though. I forgot. Begins. Might still make a difference though. That's weak in the giant. Yeah, that's not really gonna matter, is it? Got to avoid doing that. This Don't want to give no him the regen. Oh, yikes! That's certainly gonna be a solemnity. Although I'm wondering. Ooh, that's 13 damage, not quite enough. Might have to do that. Hellion can taunt, though. I'm gonna take a chance, it looks like. I'll also do this. Compassion, quiet the howling mind. Alright, we'll see how this goes. Giant's hit gonna carve the toy. That's fine with me. I got a sodden sweater, baby. Hell yeah, that basically healed me. Thank you. Now we're happy to do that. Let her do this. Although, uh, let's do that. The light there is still pretty good. Just a block. I think that got rid of the blight? No, it did not. That added that I think oh man that's way too good A breakthrough. can't not do that one Lethality writ large. hot diggity damn weakened that's a mistake my friend and there he goes 
All fixed. Let's see. I think we just finished the job here, don't we? No, we can let the DOT do that. Let's do this and then... Let her stay away from danger for a bit. That's a pull forward. Or a combo, I'll take it. Number 13, Spike Skullcap, sadly not going to be a good thing there. Uh, let's go with that. Again, I recognize the DOT situation, it's just... I do think sometimes it is still the best play. Okay. We pull again, and that's at least going to guarantee the... Oh, wait, no, never mind. That's a big chunk. Oh, my goodness. This dude can hit pretty hard. I can heal quite a bit. Speaking of which... That's another combo shot. Self lead, but hey, there's the regen proc. Nice. No, now we gotta start glinting despite the ineffectiveness of that. Oh boy. Alright, I guess we're doing a raucous. Jeez. One more death door resist, at least there. Heal himself. Okay. He is taking care of business today, man. Our second Chirurgeon on his way out. Again, that's not going to matter too much. Let's go ahead and take care of this boy. I think he's out of self-heals. She can still Adrenaline Rush if she needs it. Ah, jeez. Grave Robber struggling in this situation. Oh, and I got to not do that. Damn it. Slow dissection. It's too tempting. I still got a bunch of HP here, man. This is far from over. I mean, that effectively did do more than it should heal for, I guess, so. Might have been worth it. I gotta get some more burning stars going. I think that might be our best bet. Incremental. But deadly all the same. Hey, Vander, I would recommend the DLC. I've been having a pretty good time with it. Loving the reintroduction of the Crusader and the Duelists. Who you don't see here, but we have been using quite a bit. Having a good time. All right, second Chirurgeon down. Let's go. No, Greg. Another impediment. Cleared with impunity. Give him the bear hugs. He's free to ask, PK. What's, what's with that? We can ask. The Don't be mean. Abates. All right, more leeches. Didn't get the bone saw that time, but we got an appalling apron, which is certainly worth considering. Maybe throw that on the grave robber. Yeah, that's pretty good. Minus healing. Uh, minus fifty percent healing received from skills. But if she has, do we have any restorative items? We do, right? How is this not a restorative item? That's so ridiculous. What else is this? Uh man, I think we'll I think we'll equip this. Because if we have this on, this will make it so it's only minus 25% healing received from the Dead of Night and Absinthe. This might even still be worth it despite that. Yeah, I think it, I think that is still the best play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. And I do still think this has value. We're just having to run into a ton of Blight Boys in here just yet. Ooh, Hospital could get rid of... Nothing. Huh. Do we even want to lock in anything? I guess I might find a Bone Saw there, too. There's the Blight Boys. Well, a Blight Boy, I guess. there's some weird vibes going on in chat right now 
which means I need a series of bare belly slaps to clean the slate if we could. That ought to fix it. It's Christmas, guys. Or whatever holiday you want to celebrate. No need for this. No need to be contentious. We got, we got tentacle boys to slaughter. We need not these distractions. Malaise, measured and steady. Man, to think how depressing this would be were it not for our steady supply of leeches. That's pretty outstanding. Oh my goodness, the bleed. I keep forgetting. Man, that trophy works really well with the Berserker. That is some serious value, dude. This landing now bringing that up to 10 per. He's gone. Holy cow. Dude, this Venom Drop Grave Robber has been a weak link. I feel like I need to change up her skills try to get her to be a little more effective here because she is struggling Do I need a revelry there wouldn't hurt I guess worth it that's nice too very good and a pip okay I stopped taking that trophy after I took an ambition and the final phase of the boss was hitting my entire crew for 120 grand. <laughs> Holy shit. That sounds like a fun experience. Yeah, Blight Resist in this area is pretty high. So yeah, she's going to be struggling no matter what. It's just that... Even outside of... Oh, I mean, like, I guess we should expect her to struggle in non-Blight situations, but... Not this much. I'm dealing three to six damage. Execution, too, I suppose, but... I'm taking another look at her kid, I think. Until the next test is put before you. Take a look. So I think if we did something like lunge instead, of course that's gonna add to additional blight piercing as well. Flashing daggers, I should consider too. Minimal damage, but ability to hit multiple ranks and with the blight. Probably worth upgrading as well. I think that gets a little bit more blight on upgrade. Hospital time. Second stew pot, too. That's nice. Come on, Bonesaw. Oh, man. Could lock in hard skinned, I guess, but I don't know if that's worth 32 relics. Yeah, I don't think we're going to spend too much time here. Off we go. How much money do you think a dentist in the fetter makes? Zero dollars, because nobody ever visits him. I was considering the lair fight here, but I think I'd rather go left. Although sadly, that's looking like that it result in a uh, repair battle. I'm going to creature den out of it. Probably give that a go. I've done a little bit, Tony. Uh, done VO for a couple of the video games. I mean, uh, Andy Hole's recent project, Dunk Lords, is Chutney. Did some work for the uh, Darkest Dungeon 1 DLC, The Crimson Court, which was really cool. Go ahead and equip that other leech, I guess. Yeah, it's worth. Hopefully it doesn't get rid of the stew. Oh, God. Why? That's awful. Okay, well, at least we got the leeches for that. We can go ahead and start clearing some dodge. I think we'll probably pure wet here. No dodge. 
Oh boy, that is a lot of bleed and blight on him already. Let's go ahead and taunt here. Actually, that's a bleed out opportunity. And a great one of that pirouette time. Leper can just go ahead and move forward, I guess. Actually, he can withstand from here. Oh, right. Yeah, that's another bleed, though. She... That's pretty rough. He's just going to have to move back, I guess. He's in really bad shape. I just have to heal there, I think. God, and the stun there. The knockback is just awful. Awful, awful, awful. Awful, full awful. 13 DOT. Really nasty start. Hmm. I guess we just bleed out again, don't we? Yeah. We have pretty low bleed resist. Hmm. Oh, flashing, yeah. Nice. Glad we equipped that. Oh my god, he's out in death's door here. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. My god. Oh god, come on. This is awful. Let's not allow him to supercharge again. Toe to toe time. Haste At least got the taunts. All marks of the unprepared. Get to move him out of harm's way a little bit. Oh my god, he burned himself too. He's just looking for trouble. Anxiety! There remains a foothold out of this mire. Good lord, stop now bleeding! Climb. Rob Lowe staring into the mirror in Parks and Rec. Stop bleeding! Uh, let's see. Go for that. Probably go ahead and pirouette again. I think we can maybe... Ah, we can't do anything there yet. Never mind. Good enough. I'm going to bolt out of the DOT, but we can get to the next round faster. If I do this. But I may not want to do that, actually. Let's consider the possibility here of just bleeding every single time we attempt to heal. And also... Maybe getting a little bit of bonus tokens from the corpses? Never mind. Oopsie. Oopsie daisy. Oh boy. Okay. I do have the Leviathan bleed trophy on, meaning things like that do a lot of bleed. Are you done yet? Can you calm down? Can you just do something here finally there we go yeah we can start critting the back line and get all these taunts up she's still kind of in danger but deadly all the same i can't remember if i upgraded adrenaline rush either i don't think i did oh boy oh god tell me what stands back thank you Worth it. We'll see. We'll see, I guess. Oh, God. Oh, I got to clear this corpse. Don't want them munching on that. Thank you, taunt. The slow suffering begins. This is not upgraded, but it is still probably worth using. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that too. Relief comes rarely in these times. Okay. We have a solemnity here. This is still vulnerable though, geez. That's not good. Your violence and apply it judiciously. No dodge either. God damn, the DOT on him. Hey, there's the one. Okay. Feeling a little better. 
malaise. That is absurd. Measured and steady. I mean, again, the bleed I should recognize. What's going on there, but... Holy hell. Oh my god, this sucks. Uh, that's gonna make a slight difference, I guess. Keeps him off the weekend, right? So... We'll do that, and then... Yikes, man. I guess we try this. The enemy weakens and wanes. All right, that's pretty good. Got another solemnity there. Thank you, block token. Strength dwindles. Flash those daggers. Fight through the fatigue. They're optimal. God damn, the negative tokens on her. Haste and carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. Do I still flash in here? I mean, I know their blight resist is high. I guess a lunge would probably be a little more effective, wouldn't it? Hmm. That'll do it. Thank goodness. Big self heal there as well. All right. Subtraction an invariable result. I think we've somehow made it through. Holy cow. What a disastrous creature den. That was horrifying. Wow, that helps. Oh, of course. How did I not realize that until this very moment? Additional bleeds from the occultist heal. That's that's right. I haven't been considering it gone. until until now. Let it die. Now is when it's occurred to me. Oops. Well, that's certainly going to incentivize additional bleed resist. Obviously, the appalling apron gets a lot better there too. I mean, we are kind of already doing what we can to deal with it, abs or outside of maybe like swapping these two things, which does feel better. And I guess I could just do something like this. Well, disease resist doesn't really matter for us either right now. I want a better trinket for her. All right, yeah, the yop gets better with this. I probably still won't use it, though. I doubt that's ever going to be all that great. Stun on combo is fun, and double weakens pretty nice, but... I like the bleed set up right now. All right. Reliable information brings accurate insight, after all. I like that the chat conversation somehow this morning has gotten from children's cartoon theme songs they to lobotomies. To the succulent flavor that grows up from some nightmare pit far beneath the earth. I'm just really eager to trace that from the origin point. The chat's got a lot on their mind today. Apparently a lot they want to carve out of it. I can keep the shields. I don't have to deal with the repair fight if I just hang a left here and then get a couple extra barricades to deal with there. I'll probably do it. It's a natural progression. Yeah, no, I get it. Just stay safe in the wagon bear. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right here. Keeping both halves intact, if you don't mind. Although I'd probably get rid of the left if I had to choose. Reality comes asunder before our eyes. Just fully embrace like my my childlike state. Like utter and complete disdain for aging. I'll never grow up. Sips black coffee. Come on down. 
You're the next contestant on About to Die. He's gone. Uh, let's see here. We got a little bit better chance on the blight for these guys, so let's get it started, I guess. Oh, I could have killed him before the altar. Man, I gotta think about those things. That would have been awesome. The slow suffering begins. Yeah, these guys. Sans taunt tokens. It's gonna be a lot easier. Although I guess having already killed the altar, we don't really have to worry about that. I suppose we'll find out. Oh yeah. It's already messing with stuff. Where do you check the blight chance? If you hover over an enemy with your mouse like this, you can see down there in the bottom right corner. All their various resistances. <laughs> I mean, you're the one in control, Pawn. Our destinies are collectively in your hands. Hey, there it is. That's the ticket. Wow, this was a uh, lightning fast oblivion encounter. They're dead up front, man. It's just the cherub left. We ain't got to worry about that. Holy shit. Yeah, you do need an adrenaline rush, probably, so... Make that a thing, but... Otherwise, feeling pretty good. A deliberate and methodical appliance. I was gonna suggest that as well, Jackson. Yeah, it sounds like what we actually need is polls on old-timey medical practices. Clearly what the pile is interested most in today. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. That was the cloak I was thinking about getting on the grave the robber. Abates. But that was mostly out of uh, desire to combine it with that other trinket, so... Probably don't need it here. Nice torchlight. We're gonna go on the right path coming out of this. I'm gonna do a little we nolly real quick. Coach limping. Be prudent. Just because I thought it would be sick. And I think we're beginning to be uh, good to go. Oh, it brings no satisfaction. We're good to go. The hackles on my neck are up. Well, we see glory. We see glory in the jaws of death. And a little torchlight at some point. Let's get him bleeding here. That'll be a crit bleed to deal 40 damage over time just off one attack. It's fine. It's normal. That's a normal amount. Oh, we're going to have a real nice abyssal artillery coming up here, too. Although I didn't actually upgrade that, did I? That's another one I definitely want to get going pretty soon here. A chance to... Stun off of that move is going to be pretty outstanding. Oh, that was actually that was a demon's pull too. I don't know what I'm thinking. That was clearly much better as a pull there. Oh well. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, no. Apparently, I did need that little bit of damage. Got a big heal off, dude. Nice move resist there as well. Okay, that's that job done pretty pretty much. Couple more taunts up front. He's gone. Let's get a blight gone. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Two-turn timer. Let's go ahead and toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I guess. Near optimal on the boy. Make sure he's all the way down. No need to stress heal, so speed that up, I guess. A righteous There's a burning stars. Sheesh. Okay. Call this team... The three rounders. The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. They ain't taking much longer than that, dude. What we got here? 
Apply combo on hit if rank four. Flashing daggers add a stealth token. Add two stealth tokens, actually, but lower healing received from skills if not stealth. This would dramatically reduce her healing received. With the appalling apron. That's kind of risky. I would want to get her in the back rank, which is fine, honestly. Actually, I think this is pretty good. That's pr uh, that might be worth it here. I'm gonna try that out. And I was also thinking about giving her the Corrupting Cleaver, which would make it so that she's dealing with the healing received issue a little bit less, but would give up her conversion of DOT to regen, which I think is actually gonna be pretty impactful here. So it looks like we just need to find a restorative item for her to hang on to so that she's not having to deal with these drawbacks so much. Although, unfortunately, that's not going to affect her occultist heal received either. So maybe just keep her stealthed all the time. Or try to, anyway. Maybe, like, Shadow Fate actually worth considering here instead of Pirouette. I mean, that does add to her Blight Piercing, too. We're going to be using Flashing Daggers and... Oh, but Pirouette's a back three instead of a back two. Is this a back three on upgrade? It's not. That's weird. Is that a speed token, which is cool, but... Yeah, I think I'd rather do this anyway, not to mention the dodge is helpful there. We good? Seems good to me. Brace up. There is danger on this path. They call me Danger. Bear Danger Taffy. Safety is his middle name. I don't know who Bear Tafty is either. Hey, Carl. Let's say hi. And Blight Time? Pretty unlikely there. Oh, this is for combo, though. That's right, our, uh, our priorities have shifted a little. That was a pretty sweet outcome there. Nice. Gonna be able to hit something off the blind combo, likely. Let's go for a bleed on the big boy. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Those are a lot of fun. That's the goat basically down. Okay. Another one. Holy cow. Ah. Oh boy, that's right. I forgot. Raven's Reach. He is going to be stressed out if we ever miss anything. That is not good. All right. We're staying in the back here. Now the Blight chance is low, but... Probably worth a go there still. We're going to keep the attention off of these two as much as we can. This bleed's going to get him down to death's door in like two turns, isn't it? Holy cow. Any news on the Black Reliquary mod? Didn't they finish that? That's the last I remember hearing about it. This is out at... Oh, no, I keep mistaking that. I thought it was out at 1.0. And apply it judiciously. They're still working on it, last I heard. Taffy with the taste of musky bear. Bear Tafty? There we go. Or maybe like if President Taft was my great grandfather. Maybe that's true. I've never checked. Uh, let's see here. 26 bleed. Yeah, that's probably going to do it. Mm, a little bit of pirouette in here. Okay, we're going get, to get her... Well, I like this bleed stacking more. 34, yeah, that might be enough. I might do it. Just trying to get a last-minute corpse heal off here maybe as well. Ooh, I should probably go for an adrenaline rush, actually. Well, maybe not. Relief comes rarely in these times. Yeah, she'll be fine. Savor it. So let's just uh, do that. 
steal his heal. What a deal. I feel like we haven't gotten a lot of mastery points out of this region. Yeah. Despite taking on some extra combat. What's the deal with that? Let's not even bother hanging on to these anymore, and then we can probably dump some of these trinkets too. Yeah. Torchlight's getting a little low again. An impressive haul. Put it to good use. That'll fix it. Cool. Here, you drop this cleaver, bear. Oh, thank you. Totally didn't mean to. This. Probably keep that fire grenade for a little bit. And I don't really need the food, do I? Yeah, we got stew here, so. Didn't I get two stew? Two stew for you? Who do you do to get two stew? This dude? Rude. I guess we only got one. Did you give it up at the den? I I think I did. I even said, hope it's not the stew. It totally was, wasn't it? God damn it. That sucks. Oh well. All right. We really got to try to stress heal here. I don't want to melt down at the end of this. This blight's going to do nice, though. Resets the combo there, too. Yeah, we're going to go Rockets Revelry, no doubt, here. Hopefully we can get the withstand a little earlier. Ah, oh, that might do it, though. Okay, that was lucky. That was lucky. Let's get a couple of Glimmers going as well. Rockets Revelry time. Going to do that as much as possible here. I don't think we have any more spring water either, do we? Yeah, I think we used it all up. Steady yourself. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, that's a withstand, no doubt. All right. Take it easy. Early results are encouraging. Take it easy on us, please. That might actually be enough from a blight dart here, especially for crits. Let's give it a shot. Nice. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, well, the stress is certainly going where we need it to, at least. I have to stress us out. I'd prefer to do it that way. Um, intimidate to get a couple more taunts up. That's also enough damage to kill that dude. Not quite. Damn it. Thought it was. Oh, I should have used another glimmer there, too. Oh, well. Ten bleed. Goddamn, man. Okay, now he's gone. Got the blight there as well. Let's heal her. I think so, yeah. Does she not have... Oh, that's right. I took sweater off of her. Because she has adrenaline rush. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Well, it might still be the best play. In fact, yeah, that's probably going to work out pretty well. Same with Sodden Sweater, sadly. If the bleed does get through, it's pretty bad, but should be getting some heals every now and then from it. Yeah, this trophy has been a little bit uh, risky so far. It's been a bit of a gamble. Get our torchlight back. Keep him right on the cusp, I guess. He's dead. He's closing in on it. This'll do. Yeah, this is risky. Lotting them? Down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Just gotta test the voice activation every now and then. Ah, boy, yeah, I don't like this one bit. We got any help here? Hold on. Probably gonna want to use some smoke bombs. Holy water may actually be necessary as well, and then I don't think we really can spare the space for leeches right now. Actually, thunderclap grenades. Gonna be a little bit more valuable here, I think. 
In fact, let's give that to somebody that's going to be a little faster. Cultist, yeah. That'd be good. All right. Yeah, the voice activation only procs on Shambler, and apparently giving stew away at a creature den. But only then. All right, sadly, they're pretty quick this time around. Let me get their altar going right away. Still probably want to prioritize the altar here. Oh boy, the bleed's already a problem. Oh, that's really good, especially if we can get this pull forward. There we go. That's nice. I'm lucky on the blind start. Okay, we're going to need a Solemnity probably pretty early here. A brilliant conclusion. That's really good. All right, use our Glimmers. Almost certainly going to need an Adrenaline Rush. Not going to be able to kill her likely before she... gets the Worship off, so... Let's see here. Maybe? Eh, it's not worth it for the blind there. Gonna need a Solemnity to the block plus. Should allow him to be in good enough shape. One more of those. Really need to do a Rockus pretty soon here as well, probably. I'm thinking... Oh, the taunt. Son of a bitch. Resisted the Blight too. Yikes. Oh, and gave her the regen. All right, well, she's definitely getting the worship off here, I guess. This is probably worth it for the stun chance, but it also might just bring her back to the front, which would be bad, so... Let's see. Maybe just do this. Maybe I can get enough damage. Ooh, that's nice. This should probably still be a Solemnity, but I'm very tempted. Ah, the blinds, yeah. Might be able to wait those out. But it's almost certainly going to be a Worship here. This clears the taunt, but does get rid of the crit. But ooh, that was super worth it for the stress heal and the stun on him. That's outstanding. Oh, and we can do this. Pull forward and then, yeah. Oh, man, that's great. Oh, she does have combo. A That's right. And methodical appliance of harm. Which, actually, I think it might be better to use this way. Let's give him some blind too. Uh, the corpse clear. Is that the play? Leave the blind or leave the combo for her. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, wow. Wow, that was pitiful. Okay, clearly that's not what I had in mind there. But we can do that. And then, ooh, the region is negated now. Wow. Hmm. Let's take a chance. The enemy weakens and wanes. All right, all right, worth a go. Might still actually get the burning stars here, which would be huge. Oh my goodness. She's gone. No worship today. Blinded as well. Not that time. Okay. Still not awful. Yet again, the minimum impact from her, but thankfully got the combo reset at least. Oh my goodness. Leper came to play. Let's go, dude. A little more raucous. Getting everybody in pretty good shape. Still blinded here. Resisted and got the heal. Very good. They're optimal. Oh my god. That the, the turnaround here, huh? What a shift. All of a sudden, we're in fantastic shape. This went from pretty bad to just pretty. Absolutely. What a fight. Go, squad, go. The past is gone. 
Let it die. A simple flower for the leper. Gain regen on move resist, stun, or uh, block plus on stun resist. And the silent treatment for our grave robber. Okay. That's uh, interesting. We have to give up whatever she's got now, which is, the yeah, that's the birth. appalling apron situation. I guess if we just put her back in the third rank, though, this would be pretty good. Or, yeah. I think we do that. Let's give her the disease resist, I say. Get rid of the... Or that thing now. I think we go ahead and give the appalling apron to the... Hellion at this point? Which would mean we don't have to have adrenaline rush on anymore. And we could go with Yop for the Stein. That's fun. Okay. Ah, this is pretty good all of a sudden. And then the simple flower for the leper. Instead of Spike's Skullcap? That works for me. His move resist is really good. With the sodden sweater. That's a heck of a combo, actually. And we could get some uh, poultices for later to improve his stun resist as well. Cool. Okay. This all looks really good. Kind of tempted to give him the skull cap, but I think that range skill benefit is pretty nice too. Fun stuff. The heart calls out to the weary. Got plenty of bobbles to fix up the stagecoach here too. This is all working out. And there's our stew back. They're just saving it for us at the end. How nice of them. The place is a little worse for wear. Whoa. But familiar nonetheless. Eagle-eyed grave robber. Wow. That's tremendous. Okay. Everywhere in ruin. Stiff drink again. Everywhere in need. No hospitals. Eh, no thanks. Safe. Secret. The barnacled timbers of the coastal villages. That's me. Are sodden with salt and secrets. That perfectly describes me. Hmm. Leaf suspension is good. Anything that lets us travel further is worth the cost. Playing cards? Something to ease the rigors of the road. Whiskey. Do I have any negative quirks I want to get rid of right now? Not really. Coward's the worst of them. Even that's not all that bad. I'll give it a try, though. There we go. Cool. Give him some... Oh, we already had one, too, right? Let's just have no negative quirks. How about that? I like that idea. Stew time. Yum, yum, yum. Big max HP buff. Plus one speed. Plus, ooh, stun resist and disease resist. Stun resist is very nice, obviously. This is a heck of an end to run across too, not to mention Playing cards did pretty well to begin with there. Still got our big pig here, too. Let's see what else we can get. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. Let me... That's what I was thinking. Uh, this is honestly a pretty good trinket, but I'm pretty sure we got enough good stuff for now. Snag the other pipe weed. Let's get that clarifying poultice we were talking about getting. And I think we're good. Really nice stuff here. Let's check on the relationships and see who we can boost up a little bit. Grave robber leper to start. There we go. Let's give him another. Nice. Get them up to 17 maybe. Get them real friendly. Rock on tour. Cool. Additional relationship chance. Give him one more there. Ooh, the plus two. Hell yeah. That almost makes me want to max him out. Friendly between the cultist and the hellion is really close. We'll go ahead and do that. And then we got one between the hellion and the grave robber as well. As well as hellion. 
Leopard. But I think that was all we had. I can buy poetry, which is pretty cheap, actually, yeah. He do love his poetry. Cool. Looking pretty good. I might save the pig still. I think I will. I think it's going to be better for us in the next region. One learns quickly when survival demands it. Really hanging on to that thing. Now I think it's time for these upgrades. Burning stars. Let's go for the chop as well. We're getting a lot of value out of that. And then... Solemnity wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm tempted to go with Yop. I think I will. Encourage us to use that a little bit more too. So now we've got skills that can stun both back ranks and both front ranks, which is pretty fantastic. Keep looking at this road gear. The next stop is leagues away. Hmm. Plan accordingly. Yeah, I feel like this bottle case isn't super necessary. Let's pick up the iron brazier. Brazier. Experimentation. Do that. Your academic instincts serve you well. Yeah, I think we've dealt with the flame drain pretty well. Tried and tested. A bomb to be counted on. I'm thinking we're looking at four positive relationships here too. Aspiration unites the hopeful. I'm liking what I see so far. Abyssal's adding a dodge plus to the Hellion. Chop will stress heal. Weird reconstruction will stress heal. Chaotic offering will stress heal. Pick to the face will stress heal. Bleed out adds the strength token. Lunge with the dodge plus and reflection with the dodge plus as well. Very good. Might take on a second Leviathan with that kind of outcome, dude. Feeling real confident here. Propriety floats listless on the tide. Brined in noxious degradation. Let the pile show how confident they're feeling, huh? It's your bare buck bets. See if we can take this one the distance. I think we can. Another oasis is a good idea, too. Ooh, a shambler right before the lair boss, huh? You don't say. I might be so tempted. Of the spreading stain. We got a safe route coming up to an oasis here, man. We're gonna be prepped. We're gonna be ready. Torchlight for days. Stealth token. Yes, sir. It's a heck of a start for her. They did it again. I knew they would. Oh, I knew as soon as I saw the enemy ambush. They're gonna go for that leper in the back rank. God damn it. All right. Wow. Holy shit, occultist. Okay. Get through the dodge plus there, sadly. But deadly all the same. Bring him up a little bit closer. Probably just withstand in that position as well. Still pretty damn concerned about the bleed here, unfortunately, which is making me think I ought to go for the Leviathan just for that, too. Possibility of choosing a different um, trophy here, so I'm not bleeding out. Although I guess the Focus Fault doesn't really apply a lot of bleed, does he? So maybe I could use it on him. And yeah, that is, uh, that is concerning. That feels good. Oh, God. Who needs the leopard, dude? You stay in the third rank. A cultist has it covered. He'll take care of this. All right, there you go, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Um, do that. And death store. Weakened at the very least. We can get a pull here as well. Come on up. Wow. Cool. Jesus. They falter, so press your advance. Weaken on the crit. Still for seven, unfortunately. A pretty big bleed there, too. Gets through the dodge. Damn, unfortunate outcomes on the end of this one. They are both dead to... Or no, they're not both dead to DOT, actually. But we do need to heal her up a little bit anyway. For some reason decided now to get rid of Adrenaline Rush. 
Get a last crit heal at the end of this, ideally. A little stress heal by the end, too. Oh, never mind. Oh. That's not the start I was looking for. Rotten Tomato? Huh. We could flip them. Oh, she's already in rank two. That's right. Cool. Maybe. Well, on the bleeding targets, plus 25% damage. Is she really going without the apron? Are we going to breakthrough? This feels ridiculous. Breakthrough adds a combo and add one negative token. Ignores block. Three to six with a cooldown. It's still terrible, is the thing. That's just the only issue with that skill is that it's bad. Why am I doing this when I could just get a flat plus 30% damage even without a condition? There we go. That's the play. Hey, Joe, welcome. Breakthrough can be pretty good if you got a lot of defender types on the route. It's very situational, though, and even then, I think I'd rather just kill the defender, you know? Get a lot more damage out of something else. Unburdens the mind. Oh, God, come on, guys. Can't stand all this disagreement anymore. We did need that spring water. Way to help out the occultist. All right. Watchtower? Nope, got to be to the right. We get another watchtower at least, so... That works, I guess. Yeah, we got to hang it right if we want to hit this stuff, though. There goes our road, or our... Yeah, our road healing. There goes our wheels. Should be able to preserve the block right up until the lair, at the very least, that the Shambler will have it for. Man, that torchlight is still... Nearly capped out, too. That's crazy. Oh, we could get the wheels back. And I think we'd actually keep them, wouldn't we? All the way up to the lair. That's an interesting option. We do have relics to spare. Let's get some combat items. Thunderclap. That's pretty good. Toxic Kicker's not bad, either. I shouldn't undervalue that as much as I have been. Pretty solid option. Keep the leeches for now. Yeah, we'll use that. Think carefully. Today's oversight is tomorrow's regret. Can I hit that watchtower? How many of your skills do you actually use regularly? You can afford one situational skill on a given team member. I would make an argument to the contrary. I feel like every skill on every party member at the moment is being utilized fairly regularly. The value of such a view is matched only by its unsettling awfulness. Let's break it down! Leper. Chop all the time. Withstand all the time. Solemnity ahead, pretty regularly. The seat of our regrettable research. Intimidate and reflection. Less so, but I don't want to replace them. I think that's going to be the barometer for this. A bit, or the uh, occultist hardly even needs explanation. Absolutely, all five of those skills are being utilized. Chaotic offering, arguable, but absolutely still worth having equipped. Oh boy, that's not what I expected to see. The star spawned child of the infinite boy. Also, why was she in the front? Plus eight speed. Oh my god. This one's actually kind of good. That's wild. All right. Welcome back, buddy. Uh, we want to keep her in rank two now. Meaning... This is going to be a little awkward. Oh, wow. That was perfect. Holy shit. I, was, I wasn't even daring to under my hope for such a thing, but that worked out pretty damn well. And we're gonna move up. Nice. All right. Party order sorted. Oh my God, we're gonna stun him immediately? No, he's not gonna get stunned. He's gonna get burning stars. 
39 damage in a combo. Fuck yeah, dude. This is no time to falter. Let's go chaotic offering. Big time bonus damage. Combo bleed, eight for three. Measured and steady. No shuffle, nice. Bleed resist as well. Pretty bad bleed on her. Oh no. Oh no, she's dying. And she doesn't have absinthe? She doesn't have absinthe, son of a bitch. Oh, that's bad. I think I withstand. Gotta keep some attention off her for a little bit. That's a big bleed, Jesus. Gotta pass heal that, obviously, and then hopefully the occultist can get pretty lucky here. Oh, that's a really nice stealth, at least. Oh, boy, she's in bad shape. That's an awful shuffle, too. God damn, that sucks. I really should have had absinthe equipped here. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. She's just gonna have to move back, I guess. And at least do that. And then toe to toe to get her back in position two, I suppose. Have to heal here. As much as I wanna. Coming. You may outwit Go for another yet. burning stars. Good God. That sucks. Maybe Intimidate? Thunderclap's good again. Intimidate to weaken him to make his attacks on her less effective. Oh boy, we just really don't have a solution for her right now. This is rough. I gotta stay stealthed too, but I guess we do have enough taunt up at the moment, so... This game can be very swingy, absolutely. Right when you thought you were okay. Right when we thought we were dominating, really. All of a sudden, it has completely turned around. The path of exculpation. That's not Do awful, not I guess. I really got to try to get some more DOT going on him. Oh, God. Hey, big bleed resist at least. Okay. Keep on intimidating. Keep the weaken and the taunt up. She got another stealth. She might be able to pass heal by the time it's her action next. But the double clapper claw situation here is scary. But they should be targeting the Observe leper. The subject carefully. And you will discover its weaknesses. On paper, they should target the leper both times with their attacks. Glad that worked out. Uh, she is going to convert this, right? With the appalling apron, right? Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. I think we go ahead and bleed again. The enemy weakens and wanes. That is the shambler on death's door off of his DOT. This is not a double stun, meaning I think I want to go ahead and heal again here. I guess the only option they like is to heal himself. This actually feels better. Oh, he's just going to resummon, though, isn't he? Yeah, that's right. Once again, teetering on that terrible precipice. That was, that was sketchy. That was kind of, yeah, that was probably not the play there. Stealth again, but she's gonna have to just Darkness encroaches. Survive another DOT tick! Oh my god! She can heal again. That's there good. Remains a foothold out of this mire. Now climb. She has regen. Oh lord. The pull forward. Will stun, possibly? Didn't even pull him forward, wow. That sucks. Do I bleed out here? I think so. As bad as this looks, 
I think it's actually okay. Fight through the fatigue. Big boy's down. We got taunt up. Hold fast. Survive the crit. What lurks in the beyond. She can finally heal herself. Another taunt. Revelry? Heals for two. Jesus. Still worth it, obviously. Perfect. Is a rare and wonderful thing. You did it. Let's kill one. There we go. One less obstacle in our path. Not quite gonna get the kill off of that. The blight might be enough. If I deal one damage and land the blight with a 70% crit chance. There we go. Nice. Steady subtraction, an invariable result. Whew. Holy cow. Maybe we won't go for the lair. That was scary. The loathing abates. Create a protectorate for this guy. Maybe that's the play now, dude. Although he, his damage has kind of been carrying, hasn't it? I think I want to keep that. No need for that anymore. I don't need this one. All right. This is a little terrifying. Might as well get those equipped, I guess, in case we need them. Let's go for that assistance encounter, huh? Yeah, that's where they're all thinking we should head to. They're like, let's maybe not take on the giant fish after that, please, for the love of God. Bear, don't do it. The vestiges of an invading army, scattered and lost in this dying land. They're absent, ready to go there too. All right. I do still have a stealth after this, so I suppose I can start trying to blight in the back there. Adrenaline rush, very good. Oh, I need to withstand as well. Oh boy. I wanted to wait on that. I don't know if I need fire grenade here. Pretty sure I want to do this. That is this guy, so. This road cannot be walked alone. That that's it was screaming at me. My mind was like, please God, bear, just heal him. Heal him, dude. Heal her, I mean. I might even need a revelry after this. The enemy weakens and wanes. The blight's enough there, at least. Nice dodge plus off of that one. Okay. I don't like anything but him healing himself, and that's fine with me. Oh no, buddy. That's uh, that's not gonna cut it. Holy shit. All right, we just gotta go for that, I guess. Ooh, the crit heal there is pretty good. She's got a regen going. She is in decent shape still. He's feeling a lot better. And we just gotta get a corpse going now here, too. No bleed off that, okay. Absinthe is not going to heal. He's got enough blight. Missed that one too, damn. Come on up here. Oh, right. That's immobilized too, shucks. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. He is basically bleeding out already, so I suppose it's better for him to get the guard. Expose this guy. And we'll go ahead and just reflection here. Dodge plus for the Grave Robbers, pretty nice. Finally get another heal there. That's more like it, okay. We'll do our Rockets here as well, that's better. Man, that's the help we needed.
Is he aware the Grave Robber's basic throwing dagger attack ignore, ignores guarded tokens? That's true. Extremely accurate. Oh my goodness, clutching it up, my friend. Look at him go. We did get him overperforming a little bit for a while there, so. Credit where credit is due. I would like you to get one nice heal here at least, though, if you don't mind. Well, actually, hold on a second. Ah, yeah, not necessary. Not awful. The bleed doesn't help. Hmm. Okay, you're dead. I guess we can just lunge this. Sure. Why not? Whip it. Whip it good. The variable can make all the difference. One more of these bad boys. Keep it with stand up. Everything's gonna be okay. We can pirouette. Wee! She's got a big old bleed for you, bud. I'm gonna bleed that thing, I guess, though, but. Still worth. She'll convert that, right? Yeah, absolutely. There we go. Still healing. There he goes. More than the previous three combined. I knew we'd get there eventually, dude. Whip it. It's a giant spiked plank of wood. Conflict. Incredibly impressive to miss that thing. But you did it. You get a bear clap for the leper. Completely whiffing on an inanimate object. Just incredible. Just incredible stuff. Team's really just showing up for this fight, man. You gotta love it. He's on a pier, it's all wood. He got confused. I applaud that. Excellent work. Near valid excuse for him. Concocted seemingly out of nowhere. They falter. So press your advance. His eyes are falling out though? Okay, yeah, that, that one that might I guess he's gotta pass. Save those. Save that, I guess? I mean we really only want that for when we have the opportunity in the same combat, I guess, huh? Well, that's nice, too. I hope we get shields or wheels back, but no luck. I don't really need food, either. I guess we'll just do this. Abandoned or forgotten. Sure. It is ours now. I found this reed on the side of the road. Would you so like it? Choice. At least it should be. This is all I have in the world. Yeah, I'll take it. Mine now, dummy. Porter looks good. Oh, I don't have a ton of relics. I thought we had a little more than that. Eh, let's go for the cash. Sounds like fun. Best nostalgia stack. Or snack. For your packed lunch. The whispers. Ooh. Another one right up my alley. Dunkaroos, Gushers, Fruit by the Foot, Ritz Bits, and Pizza Combos. I don't think I've ever eaten combos. I feel like the first time I was ever exposed to combos was when I was watching Breaking Bad. I did love that that dude was named after his favorite snack. An elementary problem, is it not? I wish I had a friend like that. I wish my friends would call me like Jelly Belly. Nah, maybe not. I might cut a little too close to home. Maybe like, I don't know, what's my other favorite snack? Goldfish? That's kind of a fun name. Perhaps I left this for you. Perhaps you left it for yourself. Dude, I would totally go by Goldfish. Perhaps it is not here at all. Be taffy, yeah, I guess so. I'm talking like my peers, though, you know, like my close friends, although they kind of all have just taken to calling me Bear, too. Didn't realize it was there the whole time. 
I like Funyuns. Your name is Funyuns now. I'm gonna right click your username, add note. Where's the add note section? That's what I need, dude. Manage suspicious user? Eh, that's close enough. That does seem pretty sus. I don't think I'm gonna use the hierarchy. As fun as that is. I think I might die or dump spiked skull cap as well, shockingly. Hmm. Don't need that anymore. Probably not gonna use the fishmonger's gloves. I guess I don't need the apples and cheese either. Certainly don't need the bread. Alright, good enough. I'm surprised at the lack of Dunkaroos love, dude. Although I guess I didn't ever really eat those a ton either. I always loved them. Loved them when I did, though. Ritz bits I'll still eat to this day. Ritz bits are delicious. You're a gushers person, that's fair. Those don't hold up so well. I got a box of gushers in our pantry right now that came in a nostalgic pursuit. Okay, one pack. The rest are just sitting there. Probably in the exact same condition that they were in when we first got them, too. A breakthrough. They do take the pull, though. I used to be on a big Skittles kick. Couldn't get enough Skittles, dude. The fiend's strength dwindled. But now I've had too many and I ruined them for myself. Now they just taste like chemicals. Let's see here. Probably withstand situation. Love to get rid of that altar early, man. That feels great. Ah, that taunt. Stupendous. You gotta be like this. Get on up here, buddy. Halloween not get rid of all the less wanted candy? I, well, first of all, we weren't at our place this Halloween. Went to my parents. Since they get way more trick-or-treaters over there. And my mom wanted us all to do a pirate theme, which was fun. I would post a picture of it in the Discord were it not for the fact that it likely would dox my family's address, but my mom goes all out for the holidays, dude. She built this big uh, side of a boat out of, like, cardboard that was very detailed, and it had a cannon that went through the center of it that she fired the candy out of for the kids, so the kids would walk up and put their bag at the end of the cannon, and then it, she would like, boom, and then it would slide down the cannon and into their bag, which was adorable. Objectively adorable. Yeah, she crushes it for the holidays, dude. She rules. All right, that dude's dead. Oh, okay. Messy. <laughs> Effective. Dude, that is easily one of my favorite new additions. With the respectful interactions for them to get execution from that. Oh, it's so satisfying. Woman shoots children with candy. Yeah, no, I saw that. I saw that article. He's a menace. Uh, heal up? Yeah. Why not? A little sodden sweater heel out of that, too. Oh, best cheese cracker. Oh, baby. You're real into the woods today, huh, Pun? Malaise. Measured and steady. I'm definitely going goldfish there. There's no question in my mind on that one. I don't know what the hell Annie's cheddar buddies are. That sounds made up. Where are Annie's cheddar buddies local to? Nice. All right, yeah, the... I keep forgetting we have that, uh, that pet. 
It has made, I mean, it certainly deserves its role as the outcast of the pets. This has been pretty forgettable so far. The smallest variable can make all the difference. Rich folks cheese crackers for children. All right, I guess that explains my lack of exposure. The loathing abates. I think it's very funny that Cheese It has nearly 60% of the vote and Cheese Nips has one. <laughs> Shout out to the Cheese Nips voter. <laughs> We're going against the grain. Which is also how Cheese Nips are made, I think. Mm -hmm. Boy, she's been good. Daggum, she's been a she's been a threat to them. Who doesn't like a good set of nips? I love a pile of nips in the morning, dude. First thing for breakfast. Give me all them nips. All right, that dude's gone. Got a little stress heal coming. Uh, heal him up. Perfect. I'm currently on a pretty big goldfish kick to the point where I'll go to the grocery store and buy the, you know, like, factory-sized carton of them is the only word I can really think of to more uh, to most accurately describe that. Basically a pallet of goldfish for solo consumption. Eh, you're dead already, right? Yeah, no need for that. Industrial strike, yeah. Do they come with a toy? They should. The box is big enough. Back to the Cracker Jack days, right? Missed opportunity. Elise and I are going ham on the Nutter Butters lately, too, which is one that I was never a huge fan of growing up. A brilliant conclusion. But like a month ago or something, she got a case of them randomly and all of a sudden that's my favorite thing now in this world wealth is worthless without purpose and the chewy chips ahoy dude i'm starting to realize how i gained my weight back yeah it's all coming together now Uh, do we really need a lot of help here? I guess we've got pretty much what we're going to use anyway, don't we? Yeah. Oh, no, hold on. We can do this. And that, and this. Yeah, that'll be better. I don't think we're going to need this thing. Hopefully, we're not going to need that thing. All right, dude. Here we go. Back to the exemplar. A parody of human outline. It must be destroyed. Yeah, dude, Nutter Butters are like 70 calories a piece. It's pretty bad. That shit adds up fast. All right, we're going to go for our now standard approach of attempting to take out the altar prior to the sacrifice here. Although I do think that the If It Bleeds is the better play here, despite that allowing him to get his move off. But I'm pretty sure that taunt isn't really going to make a difference on the Exemplar anyway. I'm regaining just because I started drinking soda again. Oh, dude, that'll kill you. Yeah, it, it, if you can help it. I mean, I'm, I'm not much better. I've been doing uh, the diet sodas because I can't fight the craving either. But yeah, if you're if you're drinking the non-diet stuff, that shit adds up really quick. It's so easy to drink your calories, dude. It's crazy. You hardly even acknowledge it. I mean, that's a really good way to cut down if you're trying to. Is to do your best to be water only, and if not that, then, you know, like, do like Crystal Light or Diet Soda or that kind of thing. 
That'll be a big, big help. A master stroke. I think I want maybe to go chaotic now. It's just a little bit risky in this position. Yeah, 5 HP, but that should be a pretty good turn next round, at least. It's going to give us another combo, too. Okay. Oh, yeah, coffee is a good option for sure. That's our... That's been my go-to in the morning. Just a cup of black. I've been trying to keep the intermittent fasting up, too, which is... Fallen off a little late, late for me as well. But makes a big difference. I might be able to get the, get the kill here, actually. Cool. That was fast. Oh, exemplar down. Cut down these nightmares Ooh. and blaze the trail to your redemption. Fun! Get the cruel intent right at the end of this one, dude. The sodden sweater is really good, is the thing. It's tough to give that up, especially with the double bleed going on. But I guess if we just never use weird reconstruction on the leper. I really wish we had a bleed resist dark impulse. That would be sick. That would be the ultimate compliment. Not this time, though. I'm pretty tempted just to keep this. I don't know if we necessarily need to go Cruel Intent here. Although this would be a really good time to do it. Yeah. Well, do I want the... No, I don't want the debuff resist, actually. Oh, I definitely want the stun resist, but that's not going to help either because we're not going to have the simple flower anymore. But I do think that's the way to go. All right, so if we're doing that, I might want to go Sodden Sweater instead of Appalling Apron. That seems right, too. <laughs> I love the way this looks. You got the proper order here for the Chirurgeon's equipment. Um, okay, so that'll have to do. We got to open the uh, combat item slots as well here. That feels pretty good. That feels like a pretty good situation. The heart calls out to the weary. Drop the apron, she can actually use the adrenaline rush again. Right, yeah. It's kind of a silly situation there. All right, finally time to use the pig, I guess. Let's do it. The roaring heart does much for the weary body. Cool. Even more, perhaps, for the restless soul. You can keep those. All right. Just get him a stew immediately. Probably go ahead and All pop that right now, too. To mountain, but only one leads beyond it. So she is rocking a ridiculous crit chance when stealthed. Pretty much a given. That's pretty dope. I'm going to give him the whetstone as well, I think. That sounds good. Planning and mindfulness. Okay. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. Staggering Striker. Adds execution to melee skills. That's pretty cool. I'd only give this to the Hellion, though, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to swap the uh, trinkets at this point. Oh, baby. Hello. That's a great find. Stimulating Poultice as well. I might even grab the uh, Songbook of Rousing Tunes here. Calibrating Sensor is nice. Do I have anybody that's slow? No. Get the 13 speed on the Grave Robber. I forgot. Holy shit. Um, Wild T. Do we need that? Do I want to get rid of Lost in Time? I don't think so. I think I'd like to keep it, actually. Let's get the Glimmers here. Probably the Fire Grenade. What are we thinking for endgame combat items here? I'm thinking Fragments. Maybe Invigorating Intoxicant. So that means I could go with... Ah, uh, Smoke Bomb's not going to matter for the Fault. What if I did these two for the... Eye Stocks, though? Oh, I'm out of money. What the fuck? I didn't even realize. Okay. 
That'll have to do, I guess. Let's start doing this. Ah, oh, we got Melophobic. That stinks. This is still probably worth it, though. Is it? Hold on. Oh, my God. It's not. They're already maxed out. What the hell? I didn't even need to buy that. I wish I would have known that. Okay. Um, We can still do some whiskey. Go ahead and pick that up. Spend what you can. For wealth no longer has meaning. He caught us. If indeed it ever did. First time gifty. Give him some bear hugs and bear gifts, please. Thank you very much for the support. Appreciate it. Welcome to the pile, Tom. Leper occultist with the whiskey flask. That'll do. Yeah, I think we avoid doing this just to not stress him out any further as well. So let's go with the big pig. Oh, baby. All right. Do the burn resist up here. Stimulating poultice on the occultist. Bars. You get everything, my friend. Have another one. Cool. Okay. Endgame combat items are going to be... Fire Grenade, Intoxicant, Fragment, Scrap Grenade. Meaning we're free to use Shred of Decency, Holy Water. Actually, I'm going to keep the Incendiary Cocktail instead of the Scrap Grenade, so we'll do that. And then we're just going to use the Fisherman's Net, I guess. But for this combat, actually, I think I'd like to have the Laudanum and the Glimmers equipped. There we go. Mastery time. Experience, however painful, is the greatest teacher of all. Tempted to go with the bleed, bleed out on the Hellion, although I'm likely to keep her in the second rank. So maybe not. Oh, adrenaline rush, right. This is probably a good idea. Uh, let's see. We're already in pretty damn good shape across the board here. We don't want reflection anymore, actually. We could swap to ruin. Yeah, that's the play now. There we go. And I guess we can do this. Absinthe? That's probably a good idea. All that does is change that to Dodge Plus, though. That is still good, though. It's a pretty solid upgrade. Solemnity, maybe. Let's do that. That's a safe play. Okay. There we go. Double checking and see if I want any of these trinkets at the end here. I don't think I do. No need for that stuff. Got a bunch of bonus baubles at the end of this one. It's kind of weird. All right, y'all. Time for the bear rolls. Roll out. While the heart still beats, desire will never die. Chop will heal the hellion is already a pretty good, damn good start. Stress heals off toe to toe and poison dart. Very good. Tried and tested. A bond to be counted on. Dead of Night adds the Dodge Plus. Intimidate will give the strength of the Grave Robber. Big potential here. Not bad. Bleed Out adds a Dodge Plus, so it's weird. Cool. Barrel to victory. At last, the great cigarette. Temple of failure and regret. There you go! And the final prediction. Ooh. Believers. Showing up today. I love to see that. A little bear hero in there, too, huh? I'm feeling good. Glad you are, too. 
Let's get this done. Very confident with this team, man. The outcasts? More like the outlasts. Behold. The infinite emptiness. Outlast and everything else on the damn battlefield. Here we go. Not even ordained. Come on. Get with the program here, dude. Mistimed. Misdirected. Love to start with the blind. Yes, please. Scrap him up. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Scrap him up! Miss it. Miss it. Miss it. Miss it. Oh, yeah. That's how we like to start things off, baby. I'm going to go ahead and start some laudanum off, speaking of which. There we go. Big old bleed. He's basically dead. Um, let's finish that. I'll go ahead and finish that job. Get a little stress heal on top of it. Nice. Poison dart. Do the same. Hellion stress reduced. I don't have an option there. I've got the max torchlight as well, so... Let him do his thing, I guess. Goodbye. And methodical appliance of heart. Um, I guess we just toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Oh, that's stressy on the grave robber. That's right. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. Five stress in the occultist now. Damn, okay. We're going to be all about the stress heals if we can find them here. Starting with Solemnity. He's already on death's door from the DOT. Holy shit. All right. Might as well. Should still be able to get some stress healing done here. We can do this and then this a little bit better at least yeah that's not gonna do much so there we go and goodbye one down which i think is the only combat we have before the boss fight which means it's time to bear roll again trail to your redemption carrying on to victory and setting up our final combat items all right let's go with Extra Blight Piercing, hopefully, on you. I don't think you actually have that, but we'll pretend. So she got thick-blooded. That works for me. Incendiary 2 Incendiary Cocktails. Sick. That works. We've got ourselves the Fire Grenade, which I think is going to be a fine choice. And then going to the Invigorating Intoxicants as well. Cool. And the rest is trash. Oh, are there two fights? I think you're right. I think there's a second fight coming up. I guess we'll find out pretty quickly here. Yeah, this looks like a second fight. The beautiful illusion that was the world. Fragmented and undone. We get the laudanum, the fisherman's nets. We get the shred of decency here. Token? Nice. Blind start again. Gorgeous. Oh my god, another unordained big boy. Works for me, dude. Got the combos too. Outstanding. Okay, we'll try for the uh, try for the blight this time. Massive combo hit. Beautiful. Oh, god. Sorry. My setup is slightly different now to where I can't actually. Any being. Uh, hear the very echo very well. well. It just adds to the effect, right? Yeah, it's it's pleasant. Miss it. Oh. Oh, that's kind of nasty. I can give her a little stress healing, hopefully. Let's uh, let's intimidate, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a deal I'll make, Echo. I ain't above it. A brilliant conclusion. She just keeps on critting. Stress goes down. Let's go. Alter's dead. No regen for you, my friend. Now it is all about, I suppose, trying to stop. I 
Get it? Get it? Echonus! Another gifty! Swamp Hopper! Swamp Top oh, Top Swamp Topper! Gobstop Everlasting Gobstopper! Welcome to the bear pile! Give us the bear hugs, please. Thank you for the bear gifts. Thank you for the bear hugs. Thank you for the Get the tub! Held captive by fear. Welcome to the bear pile! Oh shit. Excellent work. I think we can actually stop her from doing the worship heal here, right? Eh, just kill it. That's a good way to stop. Now I'm hopefully gonna be able to get one more heal off here. Ooh, she's gonna need a heal there too, shit. Gonna work. I only gotta kill her before. That DOT ticks down. Oh, turn order's gonna do it for me. Nice. That'll work. Uh, I got the stress from the compass, though, damn. Cool. One more stress point healed there, and we're in pretty damn good shape, dude. Let's go. Yeah, that's a good point, Tech. We should swap, swap over to flashing daggers again, I think. No more Dead of Night necessary. In fact, yeah, Flashing Daggers might have actually been worth the upgrade there. I think every other skill is good to go. One last check of the combat items. No more need for Shred of Decency. No more need for this. Let's go with the Intoxicant. Let's go with the Fragments. That'll do it. The rest is dumpster garbage. Toss it all. Who needs it? Not me. Empty that bag. Bear roll the victory. We take on the focused Behold, fault. The source of the stain. Gateway to incomprehensible emptiness. Feeling good. Let's do it. I think we're going to focus the first one the first two i suppose the very first one no blight i mean he's just gonna do this we know that much but at least for these three i think we'll put the focus on the first one or no that makes less sense there's the bleed out oh man that dot not what we're looking for fine with them doing that though Yeah, keep it up front. Steady yourself. By all means. Cool. Old farm. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. I'm probably be an adrenaline rush. Let's go ahead and do this now. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, let's do this too, actually. We get the taunt and we get the strength there. Ooh, this will stun. Or just murder. Also really good. We still got the combo back there, too, which means we're doing this. I'm not going to get the blight from that, but at least one rank on. Okay. Um. Now we save that for the big boy. So. He's down. Okay. Find place for that. They've changed how this fight works several times. It has undergone radical transformation since it was first introduced. All right, this is why we need to focus. As I keep doing this. Let's see. Ah, oh, boy. Oh, wow. It's a high enough crit chance to guarantee it. That's pretty cool. A brilliant conclusion. Okay. I mean, that's going to be another level down. So that means... Oh, it can get pulled. That's right. I kind of forgot that was a thing. Okay. 
Uh, is it toe-to-toe -to -toe time? Probably not. I think I'm happy with this new fight. Yeah, I think I like the way it works now. But I've been on record as being someone who was kind of okay with the initial version of it. So the fact that we've had to undergo so many different versions is a little annoying. All right, let's see here. I think we're still doing Abyssal, especially because he's got a chance, or more than a chance he's gonna destroy one at the very least. Okay. Flight chance is pretty good. That works too. Cool. Ah, oh, that sucks. The mark on him now too. Well, I can avoid one, hopefully, and uh, that's through that rank. Leper should be able to finish him off. It is a 50-50 though, isn't it? Yeah, so I give it a try. Nice. Stress heal, a little bit more normal healing out of that. I think it's chaotic offering time. I guess we could lunge that and then toe-to-toe. -to toe-to-toe -to -toe might actually have enough damage. That'd be shocking. Ah, no. It's got a crit, but still. Still worth it. Cool. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. And then do we withstand first? That seems right. Although the taunt isn't gonna matter, is it? So I suppose actually ruins better. We're getting kind of pretty well set up for this, actually. Okay. And this is as good as anything, isn't it? Here we go. Obsessions on shrinking days. Focus you like it because you were the man at arms main? Yeah, it's a fair point. <laughs> you did tend to make things a lot easier back in the day with this fight. The enemy weakens and wanes. That's a phenomenal start. That's even better. That's the best. That's 31 damage per turn. Not bad. And a max chop, sure. Add that in there too. Quick little speed token. We got his blind back, but there you go. Chance of the weaken. Got a strength on her. Fifty-three damage, burning stars. Good lord. All right, resisted the blight that time, but we still get this one. A brilliant conclusion. That's outrageous. 42 damage per turn. 47. <laughs> Holy shit. I think he's dead. Steady yourself. I think I'm dead. This would be really mean. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Wow. And smothered you in a fever dream of dissatisfaction. Man, that might be a new record from like time to generate boss the to time killed. Has been halted. That was For nuts. Time. Cool. Hell of a run today, man. That felt awesome. The outcasts handled business. Good times. All right, y'all. I'll go ahead and wrap it up for me today, I think. But thanks for watching. Either live here on Twitch or YouTube.com slash Bear Taffy. Catch the VODs over there. Thanks for all the support, everybody. I'll see you next time.